Yes, you can eat your cover crops. Oh, look at my hand over there. Hey, I'm Justin Hitt with Prosperity Homestead, and I've just gone through the cover crop here and uh, picked myself some radishes and some turnips. And uh, man, I, I'm so excited. I found a number of recipes. I'll just give you a quick cooking tip. Any potato recipe you can do with other vegetables that grow at the same time, other types of root crops. So that daikon radish down there, that uh, purple globe turnip, those types of things you can bake, you can broil. Now I wouldn't do mashed turnips, they're not as exciting, I'd rather have a turnip cake. Uh, you can fry them, you can bake them, there's so many exciting things you can do. So when you grow your cover crop, especially fall, you want to be blending in your brassica, you want to be blending in your greens, and then you want to get out here and enjoy them. You're not going to pick enough that would cause a problem, but here's a quick tip. You're going to pick your vegetables from the uh, level areas uh, and not touch the slope. So what we got here on this earthworks here, you can see the cover crop is coming in really good. You can see all of the clover and the grass, um, but there are brassicas growing, daikon radishes growing on the slope. You don't want to pull those out because you can have an erosion issue. You can also see here that we have some peas and a little bit of cover crop, mostly clover, before we get to this strip of the main property right here. These are different soil conditions. So we're, we're observing the soil conditions while we're picking the greens, while we're picking up the radishes. And by the way, this daikon radish, look at this. Look at this baby. Get that in there. Oh. I might have, to, might have to use two hands to pull this baby out. There we go. Look at that radish. Now, a lot of times you're going to dry these radishes to preserve them. I don't want to pick too many of them out because they, um, you know, I'm not going to be able to, to preserve them all. Here's another one right here. Look at that. And the greens themselves, I'm going to cut the greens off and take them out to the goats. But let me just give you that last that last bit of advice here is that you want to be, when you're harvesting your veg, especially from your cover crop, you want to be aware of the soil types. Uh, the, this type of soil that I'm standing on right now is kind of a little bit more compacted. It's where the uh, cut was made to build this little earthworks. And then below it is a little bit more mature garden area. And we can see the radishes and such. But the strip of grass right below it also received the same seeds, but didn't take cover. So we want to be mindful to put lime down on areas that have less growth, go ahead and skip where the radishes came in really well, and then make sure that when we come back um, for the end of the season that we flail the grass areas but not the uh, radish areas. We want to let the grass get a little stronger on the radishes, flail out the grass areas to put some mulch down, and then see if we get any other cover crop to take. Uh, but ultimately, we have three soil conditions here. This wasn't planted out this way. This is a variation in the soil. And then when we also have the radishes that we're pulling out, uh, we're only pulling the big radishes out. The small ones will continue to grow. Some of this, uh, you know, you see the, 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 the pea right here. This is a little pea cover. This will continue to grow. I want this to get super bushy. Now with these daikon radishes, I can't really flail mow them uh, without destroying them. So that'll, I'll save that for last. But again, if I'm out here all season, these handle the cold really well. If I'm out here all season pulling out radishes this big, I'll get the dehydrator out and I'll make that work. But I wouldn't worry too much. The thing about cover crops is I wouldn't worry too much if you're stomping on stuff. The key is uh, observation. Uh, education so you're pulling you know what what grew well where and ultimately preservation so when I pull these out if I harvest more than I need I want to make sure the tops which are all wilted uh, go to like the goats or something or they just get thrown back in the field um, but also we're soil mapping so that's probably enough out of this video I'm Justin Hitt from Prosperity Homestead if you have questions about this or anything else that I've covered you can visit us at www dot prosperity homestead dot org and this has really been about um about harvesting your cover and really getting a lot out of it if you're even just feeding it to the animals that's fine but there's a lot of good food in that and i'm going to get to processing i guess i should cover that so i'm going to brush all the dirt off of them 
wash them down really good, cut the greens off the top. And then when I get home, I'll scrub them down really good even more to prepare them to dry or to cook. See you in the next video. Be sure to like and subscribe.